Term friends in the building. Some people who know a little bit of something about a little bit of something. We ain't gonna claim to be experts, but we know a little something. Uh, got my homeboy Dave, Dave Duran, he here. Thank you for having me. And Big Ray. Oh, yeah. Robocop. Yeah. Robocop in the building. <laughs> you heard me? So we here. And uh, we're gonna talk about we're gonna talk about um crime, but we're gonna get into a whole a. a you know, a few different avenues. I'm gonna let them tell y'all a little something about themselves first. Um, I know everything about them, but shit, they, they want y'all to know too. So we could uh, start with you, Dave. I grew up here in the city, been knowing, I ain't gonna call you that. <laughs> <laughs> Most of my life. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, oh, I say been knowing, yeah. um, I went um, went to law school here at Tulane, but never decided to practice law. I d decided to approach uh, the crime and the legal situation in the city from a different perspective. To that end, I've been working in education for about the last 12, 13 years. Um, and I believe, you know, the, the earlier we intervene with some of the challenges that our young people are having, the, the less time Ray here, I have to spend dealing with it later on down the line. So thank you for having me. Yeah. Looking forward to the conversation. Oh, definitely. And on that note, Ray, what you doing with the kids that they've been trying to educate? Oh, man. First of all, <laughs> first of all, before we get to all that, I'm Ray Al. There we um, go. Employed with New Orleans Police Department, homicide section, of also, also from New Orleans. Definitely. Um, love this city of mine, even though uh, they keep me busy. <laughs> but um, as the fuck. Oh, man. Dude. But you know, maybe one day they, they, things will change. I'm, I stay hopeful that oh, you know that's that's right. right. So, so I mean, that is. I mean, and, and and just for for you know everybody who don't know us, we all pretty much been cool since we were in high school. We yeah. go go back to well, middle school with Dave, high school with Ray, and, and you know we've been New Orleans. That's just how New Orleans is. Everybody is inter interlocked in some form or fashion. No matter you know what walk of life you choose, you know somebody who knows somebody who knows somebody. Mm -hmm. So, you know it, it 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 makes good conversation for times like this when we want to discuss things and bring it to the people as to how we how we gonna fix some shit or how we gonna change. Cause I don't, I don't want to say fixed because that well it need to be fixed. Mm -hmm. But Whatever. but I don't want it's, I don't want people to take it as everything is broken. Like I don't I don't bash. I don't allow nobody else to bash my city, but I know what's going on. So some shit definitely need to be changed. And um, I mean that that's a good starting point, Dave. As far as the the um, catching the kids young, yeah. I feel like I, cause I do feel like uh, young badass is turned into to to older criminals, hardened criminals, mm. and and that's probably what we. I mean, once you once you you know, older in the game and been in the game for a minute, it is probably hard to harder to to change that as opposed to catching it early. And so education is, is a big thing. Um, what's some things that you know you you suggest as far as like what what's your outlook on the dealing with that in the education? I guess I should say. I mean, in the context of crime, I mean, my job is to essentially put you out of business. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I've worked in K-12 education, and I primarily spent my time in high school. Mm. And by that time, it, you know, options are so limited because you don't have the, the academic foundation. You haven't been exposed to opportunities mm. that you feel that you can pursue. So now my work is focusing more at the K-8 level, elementary school and building those foundational skills and not only providing the academic foundation, 
But the real challenge is to address those non-academic barriers to success. So social emotional health and wellness. Yeah, that's what I was saying, like people skills. It's like not even people skills, man. It's addressing issues that kids walk into the building with. Right. So you can't teach the people skills, the mm. social skills, until you teach coping skills. Mm, how to deal with how to how to deal with what you how to deal with what happened to you in this yeah. morning. What's happening with you? Right. Are you hungry? Did you get any sleep last night? Because they got eight people in your house. Right. Did you even have a quiet space to do homework to be prepared to have a conversation about mm. school the next day? Are you witnessing or being a victim of violence in your home? All real problems here in the yeah. city. And you, you know what's crazy? Hearing you say that it makes me think back to like before I was, of course, a detective. And I used to work in uh, in the fifth district in the night ward as a patrolman, but it was this little guy. But he was when I first met him, he was like maybe what like nine, ten years old, and we used to get him all the time for like truancy and stuff mm -hmm, like that, right? Mm -hmm. So throughout the time until now, like I said, I've been on the job for almost eleven years. I've watched him just steadily progress into a criminal. Now he's in jail for murder. And but in between that, there was a time like when I used to see him, do I could have like normal conversations? Right, right, right. And I remember one thing that stuck stuck in my mind that he'd tell me. He, he said. And you probably the only person that really talked to me and really explained stuff to me. You know what I'm saying? When I catch him on the street, like I told him, like, look, man, you need to chill out, dude. You're gonna either end up dead jail, blah, blah, blah. I say this to him all the time. But as I talked to him, I learned like things about him. He came from a family without a dad. Yeah. His mom was abused. Um, nobody was there for him. He'd be sitting at home by himself for like days. His mom was doing drugs, all kinds of stuff like that. So it goes back to what you said, like, you never know what these kids have going on. And, and the, the crazy part about it is even, like, you know how you, you just brought up the fact that you you would talk to him. Mm -hmm. And, you know, me living in Houston now and, and seeing what, what goes on as far as police and, and civilian interactions, you know, I tell people all the time, like, you know, it was a little different, like, growing up. Like, I understand the state of what's going on in the world now. I understand that you know, at any given time, you know, police got y'all damn near got a, a a a bad rep based on the fact that it's so many killings, well, flat out murders going on between the police killing unarmed people. Like something <coughs> just happened a couple weeks ago in Houston where a lady got killed and by the, by the, by a police officer, and she talking about she pregnant and things like that, and, and the man showed. I, obviously no remorse for her but you know I realized that New Orleans is a little different like I'm not saying that everybody on the up and up here like you know it's still police corruption mm -hmm. but I, I feel like being that it's not as racial because I, I feel like we do have more black cops like I said before the city is small it's a smaller city so everybody knows somebody so even if I don't know you, I might know somebody who they knows know you, you. Right. and and that just puts you know repent. It does make the 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 relationship between cops and civilians a little better. I mean, yeah. of course, it's not perfect. It's not gonna be perfect anyway. Anyway, but you know, I really like. It's good that you're able to talk to him at that early age mm -hmm. and and able to like he like even if even in in a certain situation where. He might get to a point where it's like, damn, I know I can holler at right. I can holler at Ray. And you know, I'm no Ray not about to let you off with this right, murder. Right, you're right. Like no <laughs> you committed this yeah, murder, right. you yeah. you you gotta you gotta get your issue. Yeah. But it's gonna be a little more comfortable. Well, you know what I think about it for myself. I sometimes I think of like, man, what if I would have did a little bit more and really grabbed him because you know when every my interactions with him was honestly when he was doing something wrong, wrong something even wrong. when he was doing something wrong i told him be like man say bro you you seem like a bright dude right like that people know, might be bright oh man he i still think he is to this I, day i feel just, like criminals be smarter than a whole oh, lot of no, they, no, they, no. they gotta figure it out <laughs> they <laughs> but gotta if you take figure the energy it out and put it into something, into something else oh, you'll be straight man. you'll be straight Oof. if you could really run a drug ring on the streets you could damn near do whatever you want to do. That's a Without and like, enterprise, yeah. That's a major <laughs> enterprise. Probably got more employees than I do. Definitely. <laughs> definitely. Yeah. They definitely employ more, yeah. more people than we do here yeah. in opinion. Yeah. I can yeah. tell you that for sure. Yeah. And they just don't put it into the right things. And 
you know, it's, it's a lot of things go into that, and it, it and it's just it's just bad when you feel like a situation like you said, like you feel like man, like damn, if I'd have helped little man a little more, he might be straight, but. Lil man had some shit going on, and Lil man made them decisions. But and now he ain't Lil man no more. Yeah, yeah. Now he, he big man facing, <laughs> facing big consequences. Yeah, yeah. So it, it just and you gotta invest. So you know we were talking earlier. You're gonna spend the money either way. You're gonna spend it on a, a, a young child or a broken man. Mm-hmm. And in the context of education, very very early on, you have they call them dean of discipline. Right, vice principal. Right, right. And you see schools, especially younger schools, um, elementary schools, doing more restorative and mm-hmm. not punitive practices. Right. Mm-hmm. My wife and I were talking about how schools are implementing um, what they call it? breakdown rooms when kids are uh, crisis yeah, yeah, rooms. Yeah, yeah, crisis room. Well, a quiet room. Yeah. They can just go and chill. They can go get chill. It. They can go hit the, the heavy bag. bag. Get it yeah. out of your mind. Whatever you want. Go to sleep for 30 minutes. Yeah. Sleep it off. Yeah, I've never heard of this. this yeah, yeah, at yeah, the yeah, high yeah, school yeah. level, okay. right. what I think will work better, and again, it's in investing on the front end, the school resource officer. Yeah, right. They yeah. have a different kind of relationship with young people Without inside the school building mm-hmm. than they do after curfew on yeah. the streets. When they meet them on the streets. Exactly. When they already did something wrong. And not only... Mm-hmm. You know, we call them in because we have issues with and, and you know, drugs and fights mm-hmm. and, and, and things like that. Um, and schools are becoming more reserved about reaching out to right. the school resource officer. Mm-hmm. But I felt like, you know, working at, you know, the inner city school, I worked at Clark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For years. Mm-hmm. And what we found is that that relationship between the dean of discipline, the school resource officer, was able to you know, allowed the student to bring issues to us we didn't know were existing. Definitely. And prevented a lot before of crime. Get that. Before it gets to the Before it gets to the big dog. Yeah. Dog. And that's true, dog. Like I, I definitely feel like, you know, with me with me uh coaching basketball and having my hands on younger younger kids or, you know, adolescents, my my, my boys fourteen and fifteen, like they at that age where they making a crossroads. They got decisions to make. They at that age where you know I could go left, I could go right, I could, I could coach. Like I, I'm struggling, and and a lot of times they'll talk to me sometimes more than they talk to their own parents. Like they'll they'll text me about shit that, and in my mind I'm thinking, damn, do I even want to tell his mama or daddy? And some of them don't have daddies, so it's hard to to tell their mama because a lot of mamas not gonna understand anyway what we dealing with as a young black male, mm-hmm. you got to put it, but I can't keep it a secret. I don't want their parents to not know what's going right, on. Right. But I still got to kind of sugarcoat it to a degree so that, but they, these kids going through real shit, dog. And like you said, if we get it early and, and lead them, even with the, the I, I think you need, in these schools, you need people that they can identify with. And I, and I want to put a pen in the conversation about where I work. Because mm-hmm. when people hear certain names of schools, they associate them with certain issues. Definitely. Yeah. And kids have the same problems at every school. Right. Poverty and the concentration of poverty, that is also playing into the crime issue in the city and how schools like Clark get a certain reputation. That bad I primarily work with private schools now. And again, you see the same issue but it's one or two, yeah, maybe yeah, half yeah, a dozen kids. Yeah, right. It's not 20% of the population. Right, as far as the everybody dealing with and the same the shit. the whole school qualifying yeah. for free and reduced meals, which yeah. is a, a reflection of how yeah. many students living in poverty. Exactly. So when you talk about, like, rich people, they still got they shit. Crimes, they still, yeah, they still got but shit. they're not committing no. violent no. crime. Right. But they're but not making the community less safe, so to speak. It's not a crime of necessity. Exactly. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing that, you know, I feel like we have a lot in New Orleans. We got a lot of people who are committing what they feel or have been taught is a crime of necessity. A lot of them feel like, shit, if I don't sell dope, I don't eat. <laughs> and you know why? Because their big brother sold dope mm-hmm. for them to eat. Mm-hmm. Their uncle sold dope for them to eat. The mama boyfriend. The, the mama boyfriend sold dope for them right. to eat. And they don't have that, they don't have that, 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 
role model or that father figure or it ain't gotta be a father. It just gotta be somebody who looked like them, who did something different and is able to go back and tell them, like, look, I did something different. Mm -hmm. And I know you see that often, like, I, I, Man, I'll tell you, even with me, I think about that a lot too, even what I do for a living as a police, because like, I know the youth, when they see police, they are automatically thinking like, man, this dude, I'm about to curse, this dude the asshole. Right, he, not the police. Not the, uh, not the youth. Not, I, I don't even say the youth. Yeah. I'm oh, just grown people, as fuck. Yeah. Just still people. I'm right, grown right, as fuck. Right, right. And as soon as y'all get behind me, like, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm still doing I'm it. living <laughs> on the up and up. Like, I'm not doing nothing Bro, illegal. I'm the police. And if they get behind me, I'm thinking, oh, I'm fuck. I'm slapping. I'm the old. And if they get behind me, yeah. I'm still looking away. So, it ain't just a so, kid. But, 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 but back to the, like, the point of it, like, my whole thing is to change the... I know, I know I can't do it by myself because it's way bigger than just me. Mm -hmm. But the, 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 the initial shock of like when you see the police, like, man, he's only here to do something bad to me. Right? Yeah. So, like, what I do, like, I, I'm big on, like, social media and stuff right, like right, that. Right, right, right. And um, I shoot a lot of, like, skits with, like, Rob Kaiser yeah, and yeah, guys yeah, like yeah. that, which I know a lot of the younger Shout guys follow him. Yeah, that's Tommy. my dude, man. Tommy Real. Tommy Real. Yeah, yeah. You can say dude. it. You oh, can okay. Say well, no, I'm not going to say I'm it. Break, it. I'm drinking I'm bring <laughs> crown, right? I'm drinking crown. It's so, all Rob, Rob, like. Rob Kaiser. Yeah, shout out to Tommy Real, nigga. What's up? That boy, that boy, that boy, cool. That boy, uh, his, his, his oh, sister's and brothers went to uh, McMahon. Yeah, that's So they went to school with us. You know, um, Zion, mm -hmm. Zion was 97, and Lazar was 90, uh, 2000. They went to school with us, but that, okay. that's, that's their brother. He went to okay. A, but that's their brother. But yeah, so, like, I shot a lot of stuff with him, and I know a lot of young younger kids, you know, they follow him, mm -hmm. and, and bro, believe it or not, after shooting this stuff with him, bro, these dudes that see my street be like, oh, that's RoboCop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Right. You better do cool, yeah, that's yeah. RoboCop. And we have an opportunity to do that because this current time and space is so yeah. much more visible. Yeah. So right? visible. Yeah. I know who but you it's, are. But it's more detached. So mm -hmm. I'm thinking about stuff that was around in like the 70s and the 80s with the police athletic league. The pal. Oh, when they used to do McGruff the Crying Yeah, yeah them, 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 that, that pal league was a real deal. You see, and again, kids job is school. Yep. They spend a third of their lives in, in school. school. Right. So when you see a police officer in that context, mm -hmm. you you see them in a different, they're not here right. for a prop. a prop. When you see the videos of the cop dancing at, uh, on the Mardi Gras parade. Mardi Gras, right? uh -huh. so yeah, 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 yeah. Or they had the, the cop singing the Taylor Swift video. Right, the right. Cop. <laughs> somebody <laughs> pass, he be quiet. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get to see those visuals and it humanizes, it humanizes. you all. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And it was like, yeah, my mom was singing the car. Right. Too. Yeah. 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 You and, know? and I mean it was so just seeing y'all in a different light and things like this. And mm -hmm. it was and it was always the case here in New Orleans. Like I like, you know, I don't even try to profess that I always had it together because I didn't. Like it was times when it's an understatement of the show. Right. 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 Exactly. Right. So <laughs> it was times where I didn't got arrested, <laughs> but I knew somebody who knew somebody to call somebody. Mm -hmm. And that's just the city, like of New Orleans. Like it's all right, mine and got slammed. Call so somebody. I ain't yeah. gonna put nobody yeah. on blast. Right, right. <laughs> but yeah. but, but make the call. Everybody, everybody don't everybody have Everybody that. make the call. Yeah. Everybody yeah. don't yeah. have no. that. Everybody no. don't. Everybody no. can't say, oh, oh, that's 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 Gary uh, uh, boy. Mm -hmm. And but the 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 humanization mm -hmm. of it, it makes it, it just makes it ten times better. Like it shows people in a real life. Like, which is like the, what you it, that that that's huge, dog. Yeah. Like, and in, in the, at the end of the day, in a city like New Orleans, where crime is is real, like like niggas ain't playing in New Orleans. Like niggas ain't like they ain't play crime. Like this ain't right. this ain't the rap hood. Right. Like this real shit going on. Like that could very well save your life, dog. Yeah. Like like because people already have that negative stigma of cops, mm -hmm. but it's like. Oh, but that's so and so. He's so and so, yeah. he cool. Mm -hmm. He get a he gonna do his job, but he cool. So fuck it, I'm gonna just go in on and let him take me. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna bust that fight. Mm -hmm. Cause it's niggas who feel like when the cops come, I'm busting that. Mm -hmm. I'm no, I ain't gonna bust that. He man, he, that's old boy. He caught me. I'm I'm slammed. He got me. Well, I think even speaking of that, like as far as like arresting people and stuff, cause people always ask me like, how do I? 
Because I still walk around the same. I'm not yeah, scared yeah. in the city. I go to the bars. I go to the clubs. I go hey. everywhere where everybody Refresh out work street. now. Yeah, look. <laughs> and guess what? I have changed the clothes. I go right in my bar. Wherever we want to go. I go to yeah, That's my spot. If you're looking for me, that's where I'm at. But anyway. Don't so, tell that, right? <laughs> no, you're looking for me, come to Iggy's. Because right, right. I don't have them kind of problems. Exactly. Guess what? Can you imagine it accordingly? Anybody ever do it, they can never say that I ever messed over. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? My thing is, you got what you got. You you did it. It's what it is. It ain't going to be disrespectful. Yeah. yeah. But what? Your job is to get away by yeah. it. To get so, cops and robbers. Cops and robbers. Old school. Old school. Old school. Right. Right. It's not right. personal. I sleep like a baby at night. I don't think about you. And tomorrow right. I got to go get you. And yeah. It's not like that. Right. You know? So. And I, I mean, that's that's just that, that's just good. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, another thing that I, and I don't even know, I don't know if you've ever dealt with it, just because, like I said, in New Orleans it's kind of different. But, mm -hmm. you know, in other cities, they, they, we as people, we want the real cops to hold these okay. unjust cops to a, a, a accountable. accountable. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like I feel like even in, in certain areas, and I feel the same way. To be honest, like I just feel like man, like all right, this cop in in, in Houston that killed Oger, like somebody need to be able to say, oh no, yeah. that shit ain't yeah. cool, yeah. like. And, and you know that came up with the the, the Black Lives Matter versus versus Blue Lives Matter, which I feel like was crazy because it's not supposed to be a versus. Right. That's like right. it's not supposed to be us against them. Like I know that circumstance kind of caused it mm -hmm. to go that way and make people feel that way because they feel like nobody has our back. Right. Or nobody has a civilian back. Mm -hmm. Like like how do you feel like? that can improve like because it gotta improve like yeah. what like do you do you do you feel like other cops or you yourself have held somebody else accountable like not like yeah. i mean nobody ain't i ain't saying I don't, like no one person can do it in no, themselves no, no. but just well i'll tell you this for the most part and like I said, I don't speak for New Orleans Police Department. Correct, I'm going to speak for them for this correct. because this is the truth and this is like some good stuff. I'll tell you one thing about New Orleans Police Department. If you are getting mistreated by an officer mm -hmm. and you go to PIB, they are going to investigate, mm. without a doubt. Mm. And they will hold you accountable for it. Whether it's firing or being suspended, all that kind of stuff, that will happen, yeah, without yeah. a doubt. Now, I'll tell you, as far as most of the officers I know, good officers, if you do something bad around us, you're going to have an issue because you're jeopardizing my job, Definitely. my freedom. And that's an issue. And everybody's safety. And everybody's safety. So I'm going to tell you like that. It's, it's, it's a little different here. And I can only speak for what I know because I know true. how other departments and maybe how they work. See, I need one of but, them. I need one of them racist white cops. So yeah. <laughs> I need to go to bumblefuck Texas. I don't. Put him in jail somewhere. You know what I mean? That's your question, Ray. Is it, uh -huh. is it, do you think, and you're saying it's different here in New yeah. Orleans, nationally, you think it's a function more of like the thin blue line brotherhood or is it? A union um, issue. Uh, okay. Yeah. You know that thin blue line. That that's it's a thing. You know, yeah, but it sure, shouldn't yeah, be. Yeah, sure. the, the problem is, I think it's okay, but it shouldn't be to to protect somebody from, you um, know, to, yeah, from doing somebody wrong. wrong. It shouldn't be. Wrong. Yeah, for breaking yeah. the law. That's not what it's designed to. Is I think it's more so of we go out into this world to um, protect the citizens, mm -hmm. and we have to stick together as. Brothers, mm -hmm. right, it's right, not right. meant for if you do something wrong, like hey, you know. I got you. Yeah, like, and 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 I That's mean, you know, we play about. sports. Mm -hmm. We play sports. Like, like the 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 fact of the matter is, if you on my team and you in a fight, we I'm in a fight. In a fight. That's it. But after the fight, <laughs> I might tell you. And this is like you know, yeah. like 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 nigga, we friends. Like we real friends. Right. I got you. So it's been hey, several bro. times where you had to tell me. Yeah, we did that. But you were dead wrong. But then you were tripping. And we have also had to tell it to other friends. Mm -hmm. we, we got a friend who right now is serving life in jail. That's we have to tell friend. on the yeah. uh, on That's a regular a basis. Mm -hmm. All right, nigga, we got out of it tonight. Mm -hmm. But nigga, you was tripping. Oh, man. Story no, let's not do that. Yeah, that, that ain't for this. Yeah. But nigga, don't do that shit tomorrow. Yeah. And... That's the, I guess it's similar with the with the the, the thin blue line. Mm -hmm. It's like all right, we got to get home now, fam. Right, of course. But after the fact, I, like somebody got to hold these officers accountable. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Especially like you said, if they they doing wrong, man, that's that's on you. I'm not vouching for that. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you're right, because sometimes 
But without getting to specific, uh, specific certain situations, yeah, sometimes yeah. the officer actually is right if you yeah, didn't jump to that food. Mm-hmm. Definitely. But for the ones when they when you did wrong, you know you wrong, that's on you. You got to eat that, bro. And, 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 and see, even me, dog, like even with some of these police shootings mm-hmm. like that, the, the, the community gets in an uproar about, and I don't, I don't want, it's, it's definitely a sensitive subject when anybody lose their life. Right, so I don't want to make light of it at all. Yeah. But some, like some people just do shit that, that it, like it's some of them that are unjust, mm-hmm. but a lot, uh, sometimes, like you gotta chill the fuck out. <laughs> like, like I'm a firm believer of, I'm trying to get my ass home. Mm-hmm. And guess what? A lot of these officers, they officers want to get their ass home too. Without a doubt. Yeah. So, even if somebody's wrong, I might live to fight it another day. Because you can never be in control of anybody else. Like, you can never control another person. All you can control is yourself. So I'm not going to give you no reason whether you right or wrong, whatever it is. You could be wrong as fuck. Mm -hmm. It's cool with me right now because I need to get my ass home. And they go both ways because sometimes officers, you got to back down too. You know what I'm saying? You see you dealing with somebody who's like on 10. They just coming at you, coming at you. As an officer, sometimes you got to be like, all right. Yeah, Ray, that ain't happening. But but I'm just saying, but no, but that's what you... The, that's that's what you should properly trained. Yeah, that's the way that you're trained to, to, to handle. Let me sideline this question for you guys. At what point, particularly for you, Ray? Um, because I guys, you guys are trained to Nate, yeah. to determine. Nate, Nate, I know, Nate, Nate, <laughs> dude. Because this is Nate, one of those Nate, things, Nate, bro. Nate even run the board. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's actually, I got a question for you too, Gary. But but Ray, and from a training perspective, at what point? If not, I'll, I'll, I'll insert myself with a, with a voiceover. You got it. Um, in, in a, from a training perspective. Uh, you guys have to assess uh, when you can use certain levels of force, right? Let's right, say deadly right. force. Okay. What's that threshold? Is it a case where you have to make that adjustment or that assessment on your own? Mm-hmm. Or is it certain behaviors that would automatically push, push you to use deadly force? And I'll tell you, this is pretty much across the country. Deadly force, you have to feel like your life is in danger or somebody else's life is in danger. Mm-hmm. And that's straight up no if, ands, what's about it. You got to be able to, and that's something only you can explain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because if somebody else seeing it may say, oh, well, you could have Monday, Monday morning quarterback. Easy. You know what I'm saying? You yeah, could have done yeah, it. You yeah, could have done it. Yeah, hindsight is 20 Yeah, you got to feel like. You have to feel like your life is in danger. I'm in danger or somebody else is in danger. Exactly. Like, life is in danger. And that's what, that's what human beings do. That's what, I'm not human beings, I don't say this. No, 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 no. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to tell you this right now. That's It sounds like a self defense law. That's the best way to put it. That's exactly what if I'm in, if somebody run up in here right now, mm-hmm. and I feel like my life is, in that, I'm not shooting to hurt them. Mm-hmm. I'm not shooting to put them down. Like you're stopping the threat. I'm stopping. It's, exactly over right. so the stop the it's over for them. It's over for them, and also, it's also because of my way of thinking that, man, if I just shoot you in your arm and you pissed off about it tomorrow. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta look out for me. You might, the threat might not be neutral. The threat is not stopping. <laughs> right, right. The threat, and that's the an threat, issue. The threat, <laughs> threat that's is right. actually right. intensified. Yeah. That's the yeah. 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 issue. The threat is going up. Yeah. So, Cause now you feel played. The flip side of that, and I do read and talk to you know a lot of people follow us the social media. Mm-hmm. What do you say? To people, and I was raised like this. I'm gonna I'm be candid. Mm-hmm. Comply with the officer. Comply. Deal with it tomorrow. Deal File with your it. complaint. Yeah. But that's why you. My, go, that's why you go home. My pa told me, pull over. Yes, sir. Yes, officer, sir. Yeah. Was he ID? If you got a Respectful weapon, all that. Whatever it is. Whatever right. it is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Deal with it tomorrow. You, you gotta spend the night. You can fuck it. it tomorrow. You can spend the Dude, night. Come go spend see. the night. Right. Call right. me. Right. We're gonna get you out tomorrow and then we'll deal with it. But again, this is a very visual mm-hmm. time and space. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. And I watched two videos today. Two white cops walked, literally walked in the house mm. of the, the black woman. Yeah, I saw that. Who gave them the bear. Yeah, she went yeah. home. That could have went completely <laughs> wrong. 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 A dude in Houston was 
Um, wrongly identified. Yeah, wrongly identified. Wrongly identified. Wrong 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 identified. Wrong
Well, I'll tell you this. Yeah, like, you said, the old oh, boy can't explain. He don't know. He can't understand. Four, five times, dog. Yeah, but this is what I'm telling you. Like, at the end of the day, as if you, that's why I'm bringing up. That's why I, I I bring up certain conversations as to how do we even prevent it from getting to that mm-hmm. to that mm-hmm. because once you get there, it's too late. It's too late. Yeah. Once it get to once it get to that point to where you didn't tase me and I shot you, it's, it's too, too late. late. Yeah. Because guess what? I, I, if I get tased, I might pull my pistol. If I'm a cop and I get tased, I I can see myself going to the gun. Yeah. We gotta fix those skills prior to it getting to that point. Mm-hmm. Whether it's changing the way that people view the police, mm-hmm. bringing back, you know, community policing to where cops are visible in the community for good shit as well as to solve problems. If they just coming around to solve problems, we got an issue. It's not only on the cops though. It's not again the visual. No. The picture they showed of that woman, what images or what thoughts came to mind when they showed her and every other black criminal mm-hmm. or person accused of a crime? Certainly the ones that have committed violence against yeah, yeah, the police. Yeah, yeah. It yeah, you, you're getting the worst visually shit. Visually looks yeah, yeah, yeah. It's bad. like, yeah. yeah. When you're getting the worst shit. Yeah. White people show up at college. I ain't sending you to. I ain't sending you to graduation. Yeah, yeah. white people show up at college to get a graduation. Yeah, but, but that's the media. Exactly. Yeah. They go hand well, in hand. But the, those are actual people too. Yeah. That's not yeah. let them off the hook. They're not off. No, 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 no. They're they're not off the hook. Hook. One of my favorite. One of my favorite TV shows. Period. Ever is The Wire. Yeah, like sure. ever. I had to ever. watch it twice. I had to watch it as a civilian, I, as the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I probably watch it once a year, the entire series. One of my favorite shows. Like, and when we was in DC, we used to go watch it together. Appointment viewing. Appointment viewing. What? With the DVR. Man. It wasn't the DVR. <laughs> and we go and pull up. Everybody bring a bottle. We yeah, watch the watch. 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 <laughs> While it was actually. That was the yeah. That was the Saints and football season. But, the, fun, but the, the thing about it is they did a whole season on the media. And how it can. Like they have certain agendas. Mm-hmm. And they have certain. Uh, ways to portray people and even some people in they're doing things that they may not even agree with but in order to keep their job which is another real is that's reality of the fact a fact like I have to pay my mortgage people are people man I have to I, I have to survive and I'm a journalist mm-hmm. and this not the story I handed in but as a network, we gotta spin it this way. That's real. That's real. Like, and it, and 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 a lot of times in the black community, we are like we get the shot into the stick. But we gotta expect better from that from the people that serve. Because I deal with the same thing right. in education, right? Mm-hmm. You can't come into school thinking because this child is black, they can't learn. The reason they came out is because they're impoverished yeah, or they're going through trauma. Something behind. They just happen to. Because I know a lot of black people who didn't learn. Yeah. Yeah, I think they can learn so, if you take it. No, no, no. They, they, they definitely can. Yeah, they can. And they did. They did. Because we are, we did. We are uh, uh, products of that. Yeah. Oh, without, uh, without right here. Without, yeah. Right without, here, we without, are products yeah, of without, 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 Orleans without. Parish Public School. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, have yeah. to expect. Yeah, man. Not only expect the worst coming man, in. One of the worst district. And one of the worst school systems. Yeah, period. Period. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. period. We Ooh. products of it. Yeah. So you can we can learn. We can learn. We can learn. learn. And we train our people to I one, recognize that cultural bias mm-hmm. and give them the squi- the skills, you know, to equip themselves to deal with these issues. Definitely. You know, beyond just, oh, black kids don't learn. What is the police? What are police departments? Because I'm not talking specifically about yeah, yeah. NOPD. Because mm-hmm. my Paul told us, don't go to Jefferson Parish. Don't go to <laughs> stay, stay out of Jefferson Parish. Dead serious. Dead se- Every time we went out. If y'all the white in, people don't want y'all over there. If y'all in <laughs> don't go to PD. If y'all, y'all are in all Harry, 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 Harry,
but by mine as well. <laughs> Them white folks don't <laughs> want you over there. <laughs> Right. So what a police department's doing? So I'm gonna yeah. address this in police, very like clearly. Oh, fuck with Harry Lee. <laughs> data is clear cultural bias mm -hmm. toward policing. Mm -hmm. How can you approach that in a in a less you know racist Ooh. manner? I mean, white people smoke weed too, but the only people getting slammed for weed look like me. You know. I can't speak for New Orleans Police Department, like we said. You speak for Ray. But I was speaking from Ray, right. from what I know. My I think the problem is if um the problem is the violence that happens in a lot of these places. Yeah. Do draw the police there, and that's where you get more arrest in these certain communities. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at these are communities where there's shootings, you know what I'm saying, murders, mm -hmm. all those things like that, that's going to draw attention. That's mm -hmm. going to draw the police. So, like you said, these certain communities, like don't don't get it twisted in West End, or we are gonna call it a white neighborhood if you want to yeah. say that in West End or somewhere like even Metairie, there's shootings in in Metairie, but there's not as many as there are in the Night Ward or in the East. I understand y'all look at that too. Yeah, y'all go to where the problem is. Mm -hmm. I understand, yeah. that. but again, I, I think it's a it's a more st structural issue, right? And it's not a police it be, issue. Yeah. It's a societal issue. Oh, okay. If we okay, see, see mm -hmm. all of these shootings happen in a certain neighborhood with all of these poor mm -hmm. black and brown children, mm -hmm. why aren't we spending different kind of money over there? Mm -hmm. I think. To not have that. Or is that what we want as a city and a society? So, no, it, exactly. That's a whole different problem. That's not a police issue. That's a, definitely not a police that's issue. A, that's a. A city issue. Yeah. That's why we not invested money. Like, why we not, like, even, you know, me growing up in the East and coming home with my parents and my grandma, my parents still living in the East. Mm -hmm. It's a totally different East. Oh, it's a whole, yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a whole different place. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't understand where the, the like, and, I, and because you bringing up funding, like, 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 we don't have a real restaurant in the east like we don't have no like i'm not even talking about big name like i ain't talking about five stuff like we ain't got a chili right and you know what else we don't have um we can't shop in the east oh. you can't buy uh you don't yeah baby it, now nigga, you yeah, so you got Walmart clothes, and then like you can't go to a foot locker <laughs> you, 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 you can't go to you can't mm -hmm. low go. You can't go to fucking foot locker. You know in the what heat. those things do? Those things. So what we don't have, we don't have the social scene exactly. that we grew up. The young people. The, I don't know what young like people plaza, do. Like, remember the plaza? Like walk, yeah. right. walk down jazz like jazz like oh man. that not only provided us a Damn, social scene, lying, but it provided all of us with jobs. Ooh. Ooh. Nah, I, I didn't get off till jazz until jazz ten o'clock at night. I didn't yeah. have time to steal calls, and I didn't need to. I didn't break any calls for iPhones. Cause I had a job. Right. I had a job. I had a job. We had a yeah. social scene there. Yeah, you had Sweet Sixteen. So yeah. You got the I back of school everybody. there. Everybody. If you work, a job. shout out to everybody who worked that job. Shout out one of them. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Was, especially to the dude who stole the three hundred stacks. <laughs> Wait, there's a dude that stole three hundred stacks. stacks from Jazz. Well, well, I didn't shut down the pump. I didn't steal three. I didn't steal three hundred stacks, but yeah. I can tell you this: what I did do it. That's a job. What I what I did at that. As my attorney, <laughs> what do you say? Young people had stuff to do. We had shit to do. Yeah. Yeah. The plaza we had didn't close till ten. Yeah. Man, we people walk in that work, circle. Teenagers worked in the plaza, and if you wasn't we working, were in the plaza, and if you wasn't working, you was walking you that was circle, walking. shooting on everything, yeah, everything. Yep. Oh, that's another thing. Females, that was our thing. Like everything was fun. Trying to get the feedback. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know about y'all. Y'all may know no, better. No, you me, know, but you know, I'm speaking. No, I know what I used to do. I'm talking about like, Ray, I was there. Oh, these kids like shooting on me. Man, it's like, what are they? I they don't. Not, what are they doing? They're they're not, I'm in education. I don't know what the kids do when they're not. They're not. I, I don't know, man. Other than Ooh. the phone. Yeah. I have no I, idea. I, I bet you these dudes never hollered at a girl. And I think, I think, I think because even sex. It's so. It's a lot easier now. I feel like it's so. It's so. It's more in the forefront. Like, yeah. like, like they just giving it up. Actually, we you ain't had. We had to do a little work. Actually, 
Wait. <laughs> young people now are having less sex. You think so? You know I'm what? I was reading that somewhere. That's basically what it is. That's what the data says. And the pregnancy, teen pregnancy, is lower than what it was. I guess they ain't fucking. They kill me. No, that's not. Virtual? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But, yeah. That's not what that they do. That virtual phone wasn't doing that. You can't have you can't have a smartphone, right? You can't have Snapchat. Facebook Live, bro. I'm on the way. We yeah. 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 gotta beep it, right? Beep it. I'm on the way. Stop at that beep phone. I'll be on the way. But yes. On the way. It's just. Everybody coming. Everybody coming. You got a friend? You got a friend? Oh, the conversation went up. Oh, yeah, homie. You had that. We had other shit to do. You had, you oh, had right. that stuff to do. You had yeah, that social scene. To do. And with us, and we laugh and joke about it. Yeah. Because it you know, I think we, we take it for granted. Yeah. But the other thing we did not have were these issues in the home. Yeah. Like mm -hmm. I think about us some personally. of the students. Yeah. Personally, I think right. about some of the students, you know, I served when I was at Clark. Mm -hmm. If I was them, I wouldn't want to go home yeah. that night either. Period. Right. Period. And when right. you're on the streets and not at a home, a safe place, yeah, yeah, yeah. you get into all other yeah. kind of mess out of necessity, necessity or happenstance. Because mm -hmm. a lot of them, you know, find a smarter way mm -hmm. than committing a crime, yeah. than robbing or stealing or, mm -hmm. or doing these other things. Mm -hmm. But through happenstance, they might have found somebody they trusted that wasn't trustworthy. Damn. And okay. now, what kind of situation are they in? Is yeah. it human trafficking? They got domestic violence, yeah. and they used to call human trafficking pimping right. back in the day. Same, but same it's thing. no. I think I still call it pimping. Mm, it's human trafficking. It's human trafficking. Right? Okay, well, yeah. I yeah. it's a thing. I like yes because I'm not trafficking. Yeah. We've had to send administrators to the strip clubs oh, to tell them this child is underage. Yeah. Bourbon Street is a wide The open worst thing. offender. It's horrible. Right. The horrible. worst offender. And it's only because it's, they feel like they got to do it out yeah, of financial necessity right. or there's no way to walk in that house right. when this other man is in the house. Exactly. Or my mama drinking yeah. on the truck. Yeah. And, and your mama then told you that your pussy make money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like, that's just the reality of the situation. Like, you know, in a, in a, in a different time in my life when I used to frequent the Roxbury <laughs> and talk to like see even with me dog like I've been a talker so I wasn't about to go in the strip club and give you a uh, hundred fifty dollars <laughs> even if I had the hundred fifty dollars right. in, 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 in my pocket yeah. I, I got it but I would much rather go buy them yeah. chains tomorrow right. than to give it to you <laughs> so I'm about to just talk to you mm -hmm. and and you would be surprised how many women have said, yeah, my mama told me my pussy make money. Mm -hmm. Sheesh. So, what you expect them to do but to sell it? Yeah. When that's the only option they presented. That's, it, the, that's the most valuable the option. Ma the the, 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 the majority quick. of things that I've done in my life is because the, on the up and up is because my parents or somebody guided me to tell me mm -hmm. that I had that option. Yep. I was you you can do this if you put your mind to it. Mm. So when your parent tells you or, or your role model or whoever you look up to tells you this is what you do. Mm -hmm. They're doing the exact same thing and they, they told. limited other options to you. Those the negative options. options. Yeah, 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 yeah. They didn't allow you to be exposed you to the right. same. You wasn't, I didn't see yeah. anybody. I don't even know what mm. cocaine or crack look like. I don't even know what it looks like. That's not true, That's not true. true. Dave. I that's don't. Not, How you gonna tell that's me? That's not true. I don't know what it looks like, that, but for TV. That's not true. I've never seen, I knew I had so family members on that. That's what I'm about to tell you. I was, so my you don't, parents didn't allow me to be with not, that family. It's not, it's not, it's not that, it's not that you didn't hold the crack in your hand or see the crack on the table. But you definitely saw the effects of it, and no. and you knew I don't want to be that from afar. Yeah, that I mean it was never normalized to me. It was it wasn't never the cool thing to do. Right. But 
And that's the problem. It's, it was like going so, to the prep school so, and being on a cool so, team so, to so, his so, TV. No, no, I'm, no, te- no. I'm telling you how I grew up. No. no. It was TV. Well, it was a little different from me. Yeah, because man. I can tell you this. Like, I saw it, and I knew, oh, yeah, that ain't what I want. Like, it wasn't never made to be cool. Like, like the crackhead uncle wasn't cool. Like, he wasn't the cool uncle. Right. No, he wasn't. Right. He, was the, he was definitely the right. black yeah. sheep of the family. Yeah. Never babysit it. Yeah. yeah. Right. Never so watching me so, after school. So, exactly. So that. You put your first up when he come in. Exactly. <laughs> so that's how, yeah. that, that shows you that, nah, I don't want to be that. But the young people committing these crimes, that is one of their characters. It is. And, you know, at some point in time, and this is, and this is, is, is me speaking, it, it, at some point in time, it changed from the hustler being cool to the addict being cool. I don't know if I see that. Like that, that like it went from you know the the and even in the neighborhood to where, all right, he sell drugs, but he doing good shit in the community. He buying the 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 the, the, the park team uh, uh, jerseys. jerseys. So he he all right. He selling drugs, but he doing some good shit with it. So where now we got these rappers and who the, who this generation looks at as oh they're cool, they talking they basically dope things. So that's it true. went from being that's true. the hustler, the 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 go getter, like even though he's going get it in the wrong way, he's still going get it. So that 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 instills a certain level of I gotta go get it, like I gotta get up off my ass and do something. That it went from that being cool to to now is Pop Molly. I'm Pop, Pop Molly. I'm a dope fiend. Yeah, right. Yeah. I'm a dope fiend and I'm cool. Like that's not. We didn't view that as cool. Yeah, that's lame. Yeah. An artist from our city. No, no, no. Wayne, Wayne had a lot to do with it. And that's somebody who went to school with. Yeah. He went. Yeah. He went from our school to yeah. your school. Yeah. So it's somebody who I, I have a relationship with, but. And that was his struggle. And I I mean, that was a genuine struggle for him. Right. And he put it out in his music because it was his struggle. But he I don't think he realized that I don't think he realized how other people were glorified. Mm-hmm. I, and the other thing, and this is a kind of tangent on we existed with Wayne when yeah, he yeah, was yeah, becoming yeah, yeah. when he Wayne. But when he was a lot of people be know, he was twelve and thirteen years That's old. Right. He wasn't twenty years old yeah, yeah, yeah. through the struggle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His adolescence, he was by all, if not wealthy, rich. Yeah, yeah, definitely rich. Like he was much closer to the kids and these white people who paid for them to go to college. In fact, than random dude right. out the seven. So you, so you know what that just that just skews the whole. It skews. Reality. It skews the reality. But the fact of the matter is, well, while we talking about drug addiction. Because he had the money, he was able to fund that drug addiction. And stay out of jail and stay alive. And stay out of jail. That's and stay the out of part life. he don't talk yeah. about. Yeah. And the kids don't understand and they because don't, they just that you're not gonna get the that video, second chance. Right? They didn't see the progression oh, that right. we saw. Yeah. Or that people of his generation you're saw not, from afar. So well, your consequence is not gonna be the same as his. Yeah. Fourteen years old. Yeah. And you on tour making a million dollars, you're yeah. rich already. Yeah, you're straight. It's no struggle yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> for you yeah. on the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Figure it out. Yeah. Yeah. Nah. yeah, not at Let's go. Not by then. Not by then. Yeah, not by then. And yeah. even if it was yeah. earlier than yeah. that, you good. then it wasn't a real yeah. thing. was a bit. Yeah, if you listen to his earlier yeah. music, he is a boy. He rapping yeah, on, he called Bad at 12. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Fit period. Yeah, he not no by, veteran. By the time, <laughs> by the time he was there, yeah. I think he was most of a rapper. And, that's, and, that, and, that, and that plays a part <laughs> of it. I, I, know, I know as far as what we were talking about, as far as the drug addiction, yeah. like that's real. Mm-hmm. And that can hit anybody. Oh, but I, I definitely feel like he had a, a major part in and that becoming cool. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because he was a cool nigga. Yeah. Aspirational. Yeah. He a cool yeah. nigga. Like, and, and, and the fact that he was so good, it was... I want to do whatever he's doing. Mm-hmm. And it was an issue that he dealt with and may very well still be dealing with. But, you know, every, like, your, your, your 
outcome not gonna be, your, your, your consequence is not gonna be the it's same as his. Right. And to like kind of bring it back to crime, most people that start selling drugs started using. Yeah. They started out Use. as users and they began selling yeah. to feed the habit. To feed the habit oh, and to, to feed themselves yeah. as well. Hmm. I mean, that's, that's definitely, um, that's real. If you look at all of these factors then, and I keep advocating for this, it's about this more therapeutic, one earlier, mm -hmm. and this more therapeutic approach to addressing this. Sound like you got a plan, Dave. I don't really have a plan. <laughs> it's, there are several avenues to take mm -hmm. and several things that need to be addressed. Right, right, right. It is where our priorities lie and then difficult decisions that we need to make as a society, right? And that's, yeah. you can't yeah. pay for everything. We yeah. all people, mm -hmm. the state is essentially a corporation, corporations right. are people too. You can't pay for everything. So what are we going to... Where are we going to spend the money? Where are we, what are we going to take from? Where are we going to put it? And I think... And, I, I, and you know, I don't have... I don't have no... Um, I don't, I don't want to say I don't have a dog in a fight because I do, but like, I definitely feel like even with our lawmakers, like we got to start electing folks who who experienced some of the things we experienced. Like we gotta we gotta start electing and getting people even to run for office that that know something about something. About getting them to vote first. Well yeah, we my that precinct, that. I've I vote in every election. Mm -hmm. I've gone to elections for random stuff, like mm -hmm. battle initiatives and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Millage votes. <laughs> my wife and I are number we we're last one in there before the polls closed, we number thirty one and thirty two. There's one of that too. That's great. In the whole precinct. In the whole precinct. Everybody else said fuck. Yes. All right. 30, 30, 30 people made a decision. 30 people made a decision. And, 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 and 30 people. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> that's 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 part of the problem. And like, four of them Durant. Because y'all didn't even know what my car was. So y'all took up a big Come percentage on. of the family. <laughs> Y'all make your moves. Other than y'all, 15% of the election. Other than y'all, yeah. it's pretty much dead. Pretty much dead. <laughs> and I mean, that's baby, and that's that's another that's another that, but that's that's a topic for another day. I do want you know voting and and just getting certain people elected is something that I I want to talk about, and we will talk about yeah, and opinions to because that that's that's major. Um, but damn, not like. There's so many issues that need to be changed, mm -hmm. like, and and that's something that we do want want here from our podcast. Like, yeah, we're gonna talk about a whole lot of shit. We're gonna have some fun, and we're gonna give y'all some entertaining shit. But it also has to provoke change. Like, if we're not provoking no change or nothing, then I feel like I'm wasting my time doing this. Like, we gotta. I want y'all to see regular folks from the city from like who did shit that y'all did mm -hmm. who who lived the same life and just chose to do something different yeah. like and, and you ain't gotta be young to to want to do something different you could be 40 years old and say fuck it i don't want to do that shit no more the first step and that's cool vote. the first step is voting right so yeah i was at clark we did a voter registration drive right I that was my imagine. That was my that was your thing. That was my I'm pushing it. Doing it. We yeah. took two party buses to City Hall for early voting. I'm talking about wobbling and everything on the bus. Right. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> going off. <laughs> going party off. Party bus. Party bus. Coming out with the early voting. Yeah, right, yeah, right? yeah. They not only voted, but they're gonna call for jury duty. Mm. And wow. now you're gonna have an 18, 19 year old who in the jury pool who's gonna bring a different perspective. Interesting. To how that attorney Man. or the DA is gonna have to approach that case. That's interesting. That's that's that that's young person is looking for younger candidates or candidates who reaching out God through social time. media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They don't have the, the yard sign. I don't care about no yard sign. Right. Mm -hmm. I want the Instagram. Yeah. Post me on Instagram. Exactly. Because yeah. I'm gonna get way more people from this Instagram way post way than I'm gonna get from that yard sign. Fuck that. Yard. And and. 
I got to print up them yard signs. <laughs> and one of them. And pay a nigga to go put them yeah. in your yard. One $75 of them, a day, what I used to get. Two of them <laughs> might have their own party bus to exactly. take everybody to go exactly. to. Let's get the old people on the party. Yeah, yeah, yeah they got the old. They got, they got, they got, they got the Frank and Beverly and Mays party. But I'm talking about, man, you should have saw them in life. Nah, I don't know what this is. Who should I vote for? They look Googling they look people good. on the phone uh, while they're in line. At least Come it's on. an educated decision. Exactly. Like at least it's getting done. Exactly. I bet they felt pretty good at that. Did they? I bet they felt off. That's just walking out. you like, yeah, yeah. I did say so that. I accomplished it. It's an accomplishment, mm -hmm. but guess what? Somebody gotta introduce you to that. Mm -hmm. Somebody gotta tell you. Somebody gotta show you that it's a different method. Mm -hmm. Like you, it, it, it's just man, the world is dog. Like I, it, it's funny you saying that, like, because I think about like, especially with voting. And I know we just touching on this topic a little bit, but like when um, Barack and when he when he mm -hmm. was up, like. You notice how many black people were going out to vote. That's that became a thing. Like yeah, everybody yeah, yeah. black press. That's probably that was crazy to me the amount of people. People who never yeah. ever voted and, in their life. That's what it was like, I'm line. going. They might not have voted again. <laughs> yeah, they're probably they're 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 gonna vote. Wait, guess what? They're gonna vote this time. Yeah, they're they they gonna vote this time. Because they're trying to get rid of Trump over that. Everybody gonna be there. But to your point, it's got to be somebody that because forty five is their Barack. Yeah, yeah, like make no, no mistake yeah. about no, yeah. no make man. no That's mistake whole, about Oof. like he opened he like just like exactly. exactly and you know what I've been waiting on saying this and you know what yeah, I true. never I never said I never really took it as he they Barack mm. but he they fucking he, Barack, he, he yeah. Barack. Mm. like I verbalized I verbalized the exact same sentiment. Like, he made it cool for all of them to say exactly what they wanted, been wanting to say. Mm -hmm. He mm -hmm. made it all right. I, I, it's all right for me to feel how I feel. It's all right for me to want to make mm -hmm. America great again. And by make America great again, I mean get you niggas Slave. out of here. Basically, say, no, knock it out. Oh, uh, yeah. And get all the rest of y'all proud. Yeah, yeah. 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 To get, get them out of here yeah. and make y'all slaves again. Mm -hmm. That's what I've been wanting. And he been made it. Uh, he did Barack. Yeah. Most certainly, yeah, bro. What you and, about, like, with, and I hate to even catch up, but like when I think about like Kanye, like like his mind state, like that, bro. That is probably like the craziest thing ever to me. Well, we got another show coming up oh, about, about man, that dude. clown beat. Oh, that's funny. That's yeah, funny. Yeah, right. yeah, but that hurts. Oh, I'm man. like. Uh, what is this? We, we got another show about letting clowns be clowns, and Kanye might be the forefront of that oh of that show. God. And you know what I think it is with Kanye's all like I really feel like he is the king of having some decent shit to say mm -hmm. and having zero and his execution is on zero every it's on time. Zero. Like Jeez. like he be like he don't talk to nobody before he speak. Right. Like he ain't got no partner he called and say, say dog, I was feeling like X, Y, and Z. Mm -hmm. And that partner be like, yeah, I get where you're going, but like he don't have that partner. Right. Cause the nigga come out wrong every time. Yeah. I also think he in a sunken place. I don't think that's part of it. But I don't, I don't think that. he really ever dealt with, you know, his mama passing away. Yeah. Oh, so, not for that. So I've heard that. Mental, so, mental illness. So, mental so, illness. So, and that's real, bro. Right? Oh, mental the illness. Mental that's illness is subject. real. So oh, you, you feel like he ain't never grieved properly. It's not about dog. His mother that, passed yeah. away. Beth she she wasn't old. In a horrible yeah, she wasn't old. And he yeah. wasn't old either. It yeah. wasn't no. It wasn't that's, no. You know, it happens to a lot of people. That's tough. And you got to get counseling mm -hmm. and deal with it. And that's another thing, man. Counseling. Like, well, we that mental that illness. We don't fuck with that counseling. Black we don't. Oh, don't. no, we, we oh, don't. No, 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 nobody yeah. can't tell us. We, nobody can't tell me what to do. I don't don't already know. Black men don't even go to the real doctor. Ooh, yeah, they know. A therapist. Yeah, I recently started going <laughs> to the doctor. That's and a whole nother. Guess, guess what? Guess what? I'm going to give you this. The doctor gave you the same feeling like when you go vote. I tell you the people feel when, they, yeah, when, when, you, when you go to the doctor yeah. and everything. All right. Look at me. Woo! <laughs> this mental illness thing. And you were confused. You, you was, you was, you was you thinking. You like, oh, shit. Hey, I can man. have anything. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> you go to the clip. You are with me. Man, this nigga hurt you, Tell me anything. <laughs> you walk out that bit with a clean strip, you like, 
Woo! Yeah, you swung on that, but with a swag, bro. With a little dinner box. I don't know how you doing, bro, but I'm all right. Straight. Yeah. Me personally, I, but, but that, that's the same it, thing. It manifests itself for poor people yeah. in crime. Yeah. Mm. They don't get to go to the White House and talk to 45. They don't. Uh, and say anything. They run around the streets, mm -hmm. whether it be nuisance, you know, causing a nuisance, mm -hmm. or, you know, doing drugs, or just maybe being physically violent to somebody. That is how their mental illness manifests, and now they're involved in the legal justice system, the criminal justice system. Man. And, and they go going to Angola, and it's never going to get addressed. And like that's how we deal with it. We just yeah. send them, them away. Yeah, get rid of them. And then, and then there's no rehabilitation. Yeah. And that's such. And that's if you're that's 17 that's in this, this state, mm -hmm. you can go to Angola forever. At 17. 14! We can charge people as adults, what, 14? Yeah. yeah. 14! For you, yeah. Done! Forever. And you could be yeah. being abused and whatever. And we don't care. We don't even ask until yeah, right. after you've been convicted. All right. And then we have another trial to say life or death penalty. Mm -hmm. That's the only two options. Yeah, life or death penalty. And then and, 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 and now we're wondering what caused it. That's when we ask. And, uh, that's when we ask. And that's interesting what you said about like rehabilitation. That's I think that's the issue too. Like think Huge. about even the, the young guy I was talking about earlier. Like he went to jail. Okay, true said that was one thing. The next thing was like theft. He was like shoplifting, some mm -hmm. crap like that. He go in and he came out worse and worse yeah. and worse. At no point did, did and I know that's way out of my realm of what I can do. But at no point was somebody able to stop that and be like, wait, you're you're steadily. Get progressive. Yeah, we gotta as a criminal. Yeah, we gotta talk to you, young man. We gotta figure it out. Yeah, where's that accountability or or, or them consequences? But now you say you seeing people talking about holding the pirates accountable yeah. for especially you know context of the car burglaries, right? Yeah, so, yeah. You know, what do you do? And and I had this conversation, you know, with my wife who's in worked in juvenile. She works in domestic violence law and defense and things like that. Mm -hmm. I feel, me personally, mm -hmm. you should be punished for certain things. As far as the parent or the, or the Both. The, okay. Right? Okay. It's a balance between mm. to rehabilitation to what age. age. You I don't know, that. though. Like, yeah. these are conversations that we need never to be really had. had. And need to be had. Because I can tell you this. And I'm going to speak for me. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak for you. Mm -hmm. I'm going to speak for you, too. Because <laughs> I've been on you niggas a long right. time. <laughs> It's some shit we did that I wasn't that had absolutely nothing to do with our parents. We wasn't doing it when we was twelve, though. That's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like when I got my license, yeah, it's pretty you much when it went off the rails. Yeah. Right, right, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> when it went off the rails, so now that we're able to drive, <laughs> we need to be. Oh, what? Yeah. what? We might be in the whole wrong area. <laughs> yeah, we went in. We went. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Send the blood. Several times, <laughs> exactly. Right? That's the idea. I have the license. Yes. So it got to be younger than that. But not twelve. It got to be younger. I was at Kenilworth. You was at your brother. Yeah. It didn't. That, yeah. Yeah. You're right. Expedition. At twelve. No. That's the name I never did anything in the expedition. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Bet. Didn't go to no favorite parties or nothing. So that's Jeez. the big. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At what age? And I mean, it's definitely conversations that need to be had here. At what we try to do is is spark the. And I mean, I think I heard Tupac or somebody say it, but I don't want to really. I ain't no big Tupac man, so fuck it. I'm gonna just take it from him. I think we gone. That's another topic, Rick. We gonna, <laughs> that's the topic. That's the issue. That's the issue. <laughs> but go ahead, we go gonna, ahead, bro. We gonna spark. <laughs> we gonna spark. We gonna spark somebody who gone spark some change and and that's 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 all we could do like put it in motion yeah. and we gonna play our part of course like I said we I, I try to bring or we try to bring some a little bit of everything whether it's intellectual whether it's funny whether whatever it may be we gonna we gonna bring it to y'all and and we gonna spark some sort of change some kind of way we gonna figure it out and we gonna help figure it out and as we always say, anything that y'all know that that we can be a part of, that's gonna that's gonna help and push forward. Hit us up. 
on all our social media, whatever the case may be. That that's what we here for. All we talked about several things tonight, and 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 it all needs execution. Yeah. And however yeah. we can help that execution, we gonna anybody, me, any of the other hosts, anybody we bring on. We don't just go get random people. It's people I know, people we know, people that we gun that know are gonna help in the execution to making this shit right, one way or another. Like that's just how we gotta roll. We gotta fix us. We can't expect forty five them to help come save us. That's not gonna happen. Mm -hmm. We gotta fix us, okay. and that's 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 the goal. That's what we gonna aim it for. That's what we going That's what we gonna do. One way or another. But it's another show and opinions. I yeah. thank y'all for coming. Thank you, man. Appreciate you, man. And that's what it is. My city get down, we so loud. Throw a party downtown, it's showtime. Time is with us, we gon' make it work. And we gon' show the world how the city go berserk. Truck is played through five in the morning. Which be the sounds that'll make you love the city of New Orleans. You catch a bad vibe, chuck a douce. Long as you feel alive, let's it bump on roulette. Cause we gon' make it feel right at home. And you ain't gotta party alone. Hey DJ, play one of my songs. So we can keep dance to it all night long. The greatest sound that you ever had. So we can feel joy for the feeling bad. So you can live life and enjoy your time. We'll even stop traffic for the second line.